الحمد للہ وصلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد و علیہ علیہ وصحب وسلم مبعد دس آر سیکنڈ درس ان دا ویری بریف تفسیر صورت المعون اینڈ وی لیفٹ آف ان دی فرسٹ آئی وی ور ڈسکسنگ ور اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ سیز ارائیت الذی یکذب بالدین ہیو یو سین دا ون ہو ڈینائز the day of judgment, Yom din the day of judgment, the day of resurrection, Al-Qiyamah, Al-Haq. It has many names. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the day of judgment uh, in the Quran. <clears throat> so have you seen the one who denies this day, denies this day of resurrection, denies that they will be resurrected? بن وثیمین رحمۃ اللہ علیہ ہی سیز وہ ہم الدین یون کے رون البیف دیز دوز پیپل آر دا ونس دیٹ ڈینائی دیٹ دیر از ریزریکشن مینگ دیٹ دیر از اے ڈے آف ججمنٹ دیٹ دیر از این اکاؤنٹنگ دیٹ دے ول بی کالڈ بیک این ہیلد اکاؤنٹیبل فار ہاؤ دے لیو دس لائف ڈی دے لیو دیر لائف ان اوبیڈینس ٹو اللہ سبحان ہو تعالیٰ اور ڈی دے لیو دیر لائف ان ڈس اوبیڈینس اینڈ with foolishness, just wasting their life, worshiping this life, worshiping this dunya. How did you live your life? So this is a question we have to ask ourselves. How are we living our lives? Because as we know, with the onslaught of secularism and secularist ideology, it is becoming, and I can speak about this from the American perspective, it is becoming almost criminal to be religious in America. regardless of whether they're Christian or Muslim or Jew, that the, the way the values are being belittled. Now men can marry men, women can marry women. Uh, there are even uh, people who claim to be Muslim that are supposedly imams who are, have gay congregations and who are gay themselves and married to men, a gay imam. And we can't really call him a Muslim. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. This is because he is denying that which is uh, known in the religion by necessity. Now, if he does this knowing that he's in sin, then this is different. This is a different case. Then he does not leave the fold of Islam. But if he legitimizes, legitimizes this practice, this is the case. The point being, Habitifillah, is that there are many people, they do not... believe that they will be resurrected and they're held accountable for their actions. They believe, as the statement is, as uh, the rapper has his album, what's his name, uh, 50 Cent, Live Fast or Die Trying, this is the motto. This is the dean of many people. They live fast or else they die trying, meaning they die striving for the hustle to gain wealth, to gain to have many uh, multitude of sexual partners akramakumullah or whatever it is they desire in the dunya fame fame status those are the main things and people are living fast to gain that they're meaning they're doing anything oh it just takes getting a gun and and robbing someone okay well I'll do that to gain status I'll do that to to gain to take their wealth oh I just need to do this and live this kind of lifestyle and I'll become uh, you know, popular with the opposite sex, okay, well then that's what I'll do. People are willing to do everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Zuyina linas hubba shahawat, that it has been beautified for the people, the love of shahwa, the love of their desires. So this is what many of the people worship and look forward to. They believe that they will just die and they won't be held accountable. This is a major model in this, and, and, I, and I hate to... To dwell on this, but look at the many lifestyles that many people who deny being held accountable. So they are economical law, they are, they're into everything. So you know as well as I do, and it's not necessary to go into some of the details. So Ben Othimi said, well, They are the ones who deny the day of judgment. The ones who, uh, so this is the one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is referring to here. And they say, أَإِذَا مِتْنَا وَكُنَّا تُرَابٍ وَعِذَامٍ 
أئنا لمبعوثون أو آباؤنا الأولون إن سورة الواقع أصو إن سورة الصفات الله سبحانه وتعالى says that they will say these people these are the ones who say so Allah is relating what these people say about the day of judgment they say uh, will we be uh, uh, brought forth from from dirt and our bones put back together and that we'll be resurrected us and our fathers and the, the forefathers so they deny this they deny the bath they deny the resurrection the day of the day of judgment that they will be resurrected and held accountable and they are the ones who lie and deny the day of judgment And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَذَلَكَ الَّذِي يُدُعُ الْيَتِيمُ وَلَا يُحُدُّ عَلَى تَعَامِ الْمِسْكِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about the, these people. So the first, their first characteristic of these people is that they deny the day of judgment. And this is, and then another trait, وَعِيَاذًا بِاللَّهِ is that then such is the man who repulses the orphan. And encourages not the feeding of the indigent. So this is another, these are other characteristics that are wicked characteristics of the person who denies the day of judgment and anybody else who contains these characteristics. Because maybe someone believes in the day of judgment, although the ayat is referring to those who deny the, the day of judgment, but we're saying that someone can also have these, these attributes amongst the Muslims. So that's why you have to check yourself. You have to be cautious. Don't be of those people who repulses the orphan, who turns away the orphan, who denies the haq of the rights of the orphans, who takes the haq of the orphans. Those people whose fathers uh, died when they were young and treating them with harshness. And don't be like those who do not encourage feeding the poor. So it's not that they not only do not feed the poor, but they discourage others. Like, you know, why are you wasting your money feeding those guys? They're, they're, they're you know, whatever, whatever reason that is. So we have to be cautious of, of those characteristics. Ben Othaymin, he mentions, he says, He said that, that in this ayat, it combines two issues. Al-Amr al-Awwal, Adam al-Rahman bil-Aytam al hum mahal al-Rahman. He said the first thing is that, <clears throat> that contained in this ayat is it shows that there's a lack of rahmah, a lack of mercy for the orphan who is most deserving in need of this mercy. Because they are the ones whose fathers passed on before they became mature. And they are the ones who need this mercy and this affection. So that shows us not to be harsh and to be merciful. To be merciful, affirming mercy, that we need to be merciful and kind and gentle and also affectionate. You know, treating them and, being, and, and, and speaking nice and kind to the orphan. And may Allah help us to do that and be better. And then he says, لِأَنَّهُمْ فَاقِدُونَ لِأَبَائِهِمْ فَقُلُوبِهِمْ مُنْقَسِرَ يَحْتَاجُونَ إِلَى الْجَابِرَ وَلِهَذَا وَرَدَتَ النُّصُوصِ بِفَلَّ الْإِحْسَانِ إِلَى أَيْتَامِ So Ibn Uthimini says, and this is because they have lost their fathers. And so their hearts are broken. <clears throat> and they are in need of this uh, this comfort and being cared for. And that's why it's mentioned in so many texts, meaning the Nasus of the Quran and the Sunnah, uh, about the, the importance and benefits of having ihsan, you know, being righteous to the uh, to the orphan. 
And so we will end right there and we'll, we'll continue on in the next dars. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.